Okay then, my pirate crew, are you ready for today's maths? Now, coming up in a minute, we've got a story to read for our maths today. And it's kind of perfect for us because it's about pirates and it's also about numbers, which is just ideal for our maths thinking, isn't it? So before we get to that, we're going to warm up our brains like always. And today we're going to do some counting, but we're not going to count things that we can see today. We're going to count things that we can hear. Now we can do that, can't we? We can count absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be objects or things in front of our eyes. We can count anything. So today we're going to count noises. The noises you're going to hear is some of my pirate gold that I've managed to find after my treasure hunt last night. Oh, I did well, guys. I got lots and lots of treasure. I'm going to be putting some of my pirate gold into my treasure bucket to keep it safe. Okay, I want you to listen carefully, see if you can count how many bits of treasure I put in my bucket. Should we do a practice? Are you ready? How many bits of treasure did you hear going into the bucket then? Well done, I put two in. Now I know they make a bit of a bouncy sound. Okay, but every time it stops like that, that counts as one. And I'll make sure I leave you a little gap before I drop the next one in. So you know that each one is a different coin going in there. Now, I'm not going to show you me putting the coins in the bucket because I don't want you to count what you can see today. I want those listening ears to be switched on and be super, super listening carefully so that you can count what you can hear today. Okay. If it helps, you might want to close your eyes so you can just concentrate on the things that you're hearing. Are you ready? Shall we get one done and see how we get on? Okay, pirate listening ears on. Ready? Listen carefully. How many coins? How many coins did you hear, guys? Shout it out for me. Oh, let's see if you were right. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Well done. Did you hear five coins? Good listening. Okay, pirate ears back on then. Let's do another one. Ready, steady, go. How many coins did you hear that time, guys? Are you ready to check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. Okay, pirate ears on. Ready? How many that time? Easy peasy that time. One, two, three. Three. Well done. Okay, seeing as you're so good at listening and counting, let's try a bigger number. Keep those ears switched on. Keep listening until we finish. Are you ready? Steady. How many did you hear that time? There was lots and lots going in my treasure chest that time. Are you ready to check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Twelve bits of treasure! Well done, guys! If your listening ears were snazzy enough, to hear all of those 12 bits of treasure going into my tub. I'm going to put all of the rest of my treasure safe in there now. If you'd like to keep playing that game with your grown up at home, I'm sure you could find some coins and a treasure chest to use. It's really good for fine tuning those ears and getting that listening really, really snazzy. Okay, let's start on today's mathsy story then. 10 Little Pirates. 
Okay then guys, look, here's our front cover. And you can see our little pirates on the front cover there. How many pirates are there there? There's 10, well done. Now we can subitize these 10 a little bit because they're organized so neatly for us. Because if we look in the top row, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five in the top row and the bottom row lines up perfectly with that top row. So there must be five in the bottom row as well. Who knows what five and five combine to make? Five and five make ten. Well done. So we know we've got ten little pirates on our front cover here. Not just because it says in the title, but because we can see by subitizing. Right, let's see what these 10 little pirates are going to get up to, shall we? 10 little pirates sailing out to sea, looking for adventure, happy as can be. Are they hunting treasure? Are they going far? 10 little pirates all say, are. <laughs> well done. Can you count up those pirates for me on the ship? Just check. Have we still got 10 on there? Oh, well done. And how many fish have we got swimming in the sea behind the pirate ship? Look, how many do you think there are? Hmm. 10 little pirates. The weather's looking fine. Squawk goes an albatross. Now there are... <gasps> Oh, now, if you have a look, the albatross has caught one of the little pirates. Look, and he's flying away with them. How many pirates are going to be left on the ship? If they started with 10 and one of them, oh, I can't make my fingers bend like that. One of them gets taken away. How many will be left? What's one less than 10? Let's see. Nine. Nine little pirates searching for their mate. Zap goes the lightning. Now there are eight. Well done. So can you see what's happening to our number each time? Is it getting bigger or is it getting smaller? Well done. Our number is getting smaller. The number of pirates we've got is getting less, isn't it? How much is it getting smaller each time? Well done, one pirate is being taken away each time. So our number is getting one less each time. What do you think is going to come next then, guys? If we've got eight now, what's going to be one less than eight? Oh, good thinking. Keep it in your head. Let's read and see if you're right. Eight little pirates looking up to heaven. Whoosh goes a hurricane. Now there are seven. Well done if you remembered seven. And look, if we just check on our ship, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, though, it looks like one of them is going to fall off. What do you think is going to happen? Seven little pirates really in a fix. Crash goes a great big wave. Now there are six. Well done. One less than seven is six. Six little pirates try to stay alive. Chomp goes the giant squid. Now there are... What's one less than six? Five! Well done. Five little pirates spot a man o' war. That's this big red pirate ship on the side. Boom goes the cannon. How many's going to be left? Now there are... Four. One less than five is four. Oh, four little pirates bobbing in the sea. Can you see them? Have you counted four? Cooey, said a mermaid. Now there are. How many will be left if one goes away? Three. Three little pirates wondering what to do. Now then, you can see there's three little pirates there on the barrels. If we know that there are three pirates, how many barrels must there be? Well done, there must be three. We don't have to count them, do we? Because if each pirate is sat on a barrel and there are three pirates, there must be three barrels. How many fish are swimming in the sea? Well done. And what do you notice?
notice about how many bubbles each of the fish are breathing out. One, two, three. Three pirates, three barrels, three fish, three bubbles each. Mm, lots of threes on that page. Three little pirates wondering what to do. Sploosh goes the water spout. Now there are two. Well done. Oh, uh-oh. What have you spotted in the water? How many fins are there? How many trees on the desert island? Mm, two little pirates baking in the sun. Snap goes a hungry shark. Now there is one. Oh, he looks sad. One little pirate, sad and all alone. No ship, no food, no way home. What do you think's going to happen, guys? Ooh, then one, then two, then three, then more. All the other pirates splutter to the shore. Count them up for me. How many pirates are there now? Drinking milk from coconuts, safe beneath a star. Ten little pirates all say, R. Oh, well done, guys. Now, you can see, that gives us some really good math thinking, doesn't it? Because each time, our numbers were getting one less. And it's really good for us to practice our one more and one less of our numbers to 10. So for your mathsy job today, you're going to have a big look at the picture in front of you. OK, now I've put a big version of this picture on the next card so you can have a big look at that one so you can see in a bit more detail. What I'd like you to do is to count up all the different things you can see. So how many pirates are there? How many parrots are there? How many mice are there? How many fish are cooking on the fire? How many bits of treasure are on the floor? How many musical notes are in the sky? How many leaves are there on the palm trees? How many coconuts are there? Anything you like, I want you to practice counting. And then once you've got to your total, I want you to try and tell your grown up what would be one more of that number and one less than that number. So, for example, if we did the parrots, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine parrots. I don't think there are any more hiding, but you'll have to look carefully, guys, because there are lots of little bits hidden away in this picture. Ah, oh, there's another one over here. There's 10 parrots. So if one of those parrots flew away, how many parrots would I have left? Nine. Well done. And then if I had my 10 parrots and one more came, what number would I have then? 11. Well done, because 11 is one more than 10. So a bit of an exploring, investigating job today. Go and be some counting detectives for me. Count up all the different things you can see and then think about what's one more and one less of that number, just like we were doing in the story. Then, if you really want a challenge, you could try that positional language out again that we practiced with what the ladybird heard and see if you can tell me where the things are that you can see. So I might say I can see seven bits of treasure on the sand by the treasure chest. So I'm telling you how much I can see and where I can see it. I can see six coconuts high in the palm tree. Okay? Have a good explore, guys. See what you can find and tell your grown-up all about it. <laughs>